okay, all right, hi, and welcome to another reading vlog. I tripped and fell yesterday. The only thing that was damaged was my SD card. It had an entire first two weekends worth of footage for my vlog, this vlog, the one you're watching, also a collab video with my little sister and I doing one of the bookish challenges. I'm most sad about that. <sighs> I can't even talk about it. Point being, it doesn't exist, so it doesn't matter. I have Soleil from Little Reader's Corner coming, and I just want you to know, Soleil brings out the absolute best in me. So right now, this is not good, but just stay tuned. You know what? Right now, I'm gonna tell ya, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I am going to wait until Soleil gets here to vlog more. I can handle this. Soleil just needs to get here. So I am going to wait to vlog until Soleil gets here and we'll just start off this vlog right. the girl who threw a tantrum and said she wasn't gonna film anymore. This is a special circumstance though because I just received something in the mail. I have an idea of what it is but I'm going to open it up really quick because I think it's candles. It is candles. Okay my friend Sam from Sarcasm and Sci-Fi has been making candles. This has been in the works for a while. She had messaged and asked me like what I thought a Gryffindor common room would smell like. My boyfriend said old socks. We disagreed and we like got into this big whole thing about how the common room would smell and she was making making candles and she said that uh, she was going to make them pretty much smell like what we were talking about and I was just so excited. She finally made them and I get to smell them. The last time I smelled candles on my channel, it was for Bucket and the Books. I made a complete and total fool out of myself. I don't think my smelling skills have improved, so I can't promise that it's going to be any different. So this is the Gryffindor candle. Sam did say that she's going to have like labels and have it more professional, but these are just sent to me for me to smell. I think it's completely cute in the jar, but um, I'll have a picture if there's a picture available and regardless I'll have the link down below where you can go to Sam's site and hopefully buy some of her candles Oh, that smells like chocolate. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, this smells absolutely wonderful It's like a rich dark chocolate. I would say I don't actually have any information on what these candles flavors actually are So you are stuck with my odd interpretation. I completely agree. This does not only not smell like old socks It smells luxurious and chocolatey and it's getting really close to my mouth So I'm gonna set it down. Sam also sent me a Ravenclaw candle. My boyfriend is in Ravenclaw I don't know what all is in this candle Wow, okay, not a Ravenclaw, but I can get the Ravenclaw smell out of this. This smells really fresh. It kind of smells like outside, like after it's rained for a while and then you're wearing clean clothes and you just did your homework, I don't know. <laughs> So I guess if you're doing your homework in the rain with fresh linen, that's what this candle smells like. And Sam was so sweet. She also sent me like these little melts. I'm guessing that they're Hufflepuff because they are bright yellow. Oh wow, actually this smells edible. I'm not going to eat them, <laughs> definitely not on camera, but if you like the smell of like cookies, the Hufflepuff melts and candles smell pretty much like my grandma's house. We have luxurious chocolate, doing your homework in the rain and clean clothing, and sugar cookies at grandma's house. <laughs> if you want the actual description for these candles, I am sure that Sam has it linked on her site, so again, that'll be down below. But yeah, this kind of made my day a little bit and I can't wait to burn these, so thank you so much, Sam. These are absolutely amazing. Please go check out Sam's channel as well then come back up here we have more stuff to film again I'm still throwing a tantrum about my previous vlog footage I will be filming really quickly because Soleil is on her way it's now Monday I have the entire week off and luckily I have Soleil from the little readers corner she's joining me for this week so we are going to do some thrift shopping we already had waffles and like true vloggers forgot to film it they're so gone. they're gone we <laughs> inhaled them we're gonna continue thrift shopping and then tomorrow we're going to the rose garden Gardens. I borrowed somebody's dog so that we have it for hiking. It's gonna be a good time. So uh, stay tuned. Let's roll that b-roll. <laughs> yep. We're trying to do Soleil's update and we found this beautiful spot because there were a whole bunch of humans over there But now humans keep walking by more humans. We found this nice dumpster and we can't even use it
out by the pool, reading books. Soleil is attempting to read Priory of the Orange Tree. <laughs> How far have you made it, Soleil? 136. That's pretty damn good. I'm picking Girls of Storm and Shadow back up now that I have finished my other two books. I have more time to read it like as a main priority. I'm also going to try and tempt Jess from Tundra Tomes into buddy reading it with me. Pretty much their entire brand. To read it with them would be a joy and a pleasure. I'm gonna definitely bug them later. Are you fake reading? <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm texting Maddie! So for right now, we're just reading poolside, drinking pina coladas, and then later on we are pitching a tent and we're gonna have a camp out in the backyard. So, so far it's proving to be a pretty fun end of summer. today because who goes on a hike without a dog? Not me. So I am borrowing somebody's dog. This is not my dog. This is not Soleil's dog. This is a dog I requested on the internet and somebody <laughs> said yes. We're gonna go get some crepes, go on a hike, and go to the Rose Garden. So that's the plan today. Ezra, are we excited? Yes, she is. <laughs> We're at the Rose Gardens. I'll do a quick spin. Roses. Lots and lots of roses. I'm not gonna do any b-roll footage of the rose garden because I it was actually just here in my other vlog so you can check that vlog out up there or you can check out Soleil's vlog because I'm sure she will have plenty of footage. It's a beautiful perfect day. Ezra is really enjoying himself. He's peed on most of the rose bushes and there's over 300 different types of roses here. I guess that's the update. Bran's heart is a private matter, Lothbital. It is not to be discussed in such a place as this. Laughter shattered the hush in the thread. All right, so it's time. We are saying goodbye to Ezra, our pretend dog. <laughs> Bye, Ezra. Ezra. We'll miss you. You'll forget about us. But we will never forget about you. Came along and stared at him. Now we 
it's uncomfortable. Yeah. saying goodbye to Soleil. Soleil is leaving. We've had a great time. <laughs> we are introverts and we've been hanging out since Monday. It's now Thursday. So, um, so much interaction. Yeah, our it was great. Yeah, our brains are decomposing so and tired. so are our words. <laughs> Bye, Soleil. Okay. Uh, Bye. Hey there, so it's Friday. Soleil is gone. I have had instances happen family-wise that have kind of jarred me, but there's nothing I can do. It's one of those things where things are happening, but they're out of your control and you're kind of playing a waiting game. So while I was waiting, Rachel from Rachel Marie Book Junkie reached out to me, asked if I needed a distraction, and I most certainly did. She was playing a 24-hour readathon, and I was like, yeah, because I need to be distracted for almost exactly 24 hours. I think that this will be just something Something nice and distracting to do. It'll be positive. Um, I'm feeling really disconnected from the community because too many things have been going on. I am having a better month this month, but I'm still trying to get a handle on everything. So I'm really excited to do this 24 hour readathon. I'm either having this in my regular reading vlog or if my reading vlog is too long, um, then it'll be separate. So we'll see. Either hello and welcome. I'm Jade of Jane Reader and this is a new reading vlog or it's Friday and you've been with me for probably like 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm pretty excited for this 24 hour readathon because uh, while Rachel was like, yeah, this is super low key, do you wanna stay up with me for 24 hours? I went to sleep, woke up, and Rachel has put together a giveaway. She has prizes, she has banners, she has a live show planned for us already, and I have plenty of things to do now. I'm really excited, I'm about to do the live show with her, and then I will update you on what the heck is going on for this 24 hour readathon because I actually don't know. I have no idea what Rachel has planned ever. Okay, so it's me, and I'm uh, still on my bed. That's part of the readathon vibe, it's just chilling in bed and reading. That's my readathon vibe anyway. So I have some information uh, based off of what Rachel told me, and this is what I'm gonna be doing for the next 24 hours. For my first book that I know I'm gonna read in this 24 hour readathon, it's gonna be Fence by C.S. Picot and illustrated by Joanna the Mad. Joanna the Mad. If I read that wrong, <laughs> I'm sorry. So Fence is what I picked up with Soleil yesterday at Powell's Books, along with a couple other uh, Soleil is absolutely in love with this series and she had the highest praises for it. I practiced fencing when I was younger. That was my chief sport growing up, so I'm expecting to really, really like this. Yeah, it looks really cool. So I have fence. Apart from that, because I know I am going to finish fence, that is a very short graphic novel and I have 24 hours to read it. I have Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Young. This is an arc. It's coming out soon. I definitely want to finish it. 
like. I want to get reading it. I'm only two chapters in and that's inexcusable because I'm really freaking excited for this. This is definitely going on the 24 hour readathon TBR. I'm about 25% of the way through The Merciful Crow by Margaret Owen. I'm really liking this, very gritty. I should have a currently reading video up there if you wanna know more about these books that I'm currently reading, but that is what I will hopefully be taking care of during the 24 hour readathon. Finally, Ola and I from Ola Quinn just put together our buddy read. I have The Wicked Fox by Kat Cho. I haven't started it yet. Soul, Korea, Nine-Tailed Fox, Romance. Cool. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on this 24 hour readathon and let's get going. This is hour one. Sorry, uh, my bad. Hour two. Hour one was spent during the live show, which was really fun and I got four pages read. Hour two. <laughs> is really good. I really like Fence. So we have our main character, Nicholas. Nicholas is not this dude. This is Seiji. So we have our main character, Nicholas. Either Nicholas has neglect of parents or no parents at all. I haven't quite figured that out yet, but he's definitely in high school, but also trying to fend for himself. He's also practicing fencing on the side. To do that, he is working at this arena in order to like pay for his fencing lessons. Senji and Nicholas meet because they're both finalists, and unfortunately things do not go according to plan. Nicholas then gets a scholarship to an all-boys boarding school, but his scholarship hinges on him being able to get on this fencing team because Nicholas is aware the school that he is attending will go up against Senji's school. I just flipped to a page that definitely changes the dynamic of the storyline. I'm gonna continue reading this because this is really good. <laughs> finished with fence and fence is really freaking awesome. If you are interested in fencing or are a past fencer or anything that would lead you to pick up this based off of the cover, I think you're going to enjoy it. It has a lot of fencing techniques. It also has amazing LGBTQ plus representation. This is an all boys boarding school. You definitely have a lot of male male romances happening. It's very just acknowledged and out there. There's no secret to it whatsoever. You have male characters in skirts and dresses, males kissing other males and sleeping together, and it's all very out in the open and totally normalized. This is an excellent book all around. I'm gonna finish it up pretty quickly here and get started on one of these other books. Maybe I'll have you guys decide. Yeah, I'm gonna have you guys vote for me. Go in on Instagram or Twitter. Might do a little bit of both. We'll see what happens. Okay, time has passed. I ate dinner. I, uh, I did things. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I put up a poll on Twitter and Instagram. Instagram. Now that I'm thinking about it, of course it would have differing results. I only have like 200 followers on Instagram and like a thousand on Twitter. The results differed. On Instagram, we had the Wicked Fox win and on Twitter, we had Girls of Storm and Shadow win. I'm gonna go with Wicked Fox because it's a buddy read and I can get my six to 10 chapters done, which is Ola and I's goal. Let's break out the Wicked Fox. So I'm now on page 21 of the Wicked Fox, which has the most beautiful cover ever. I'm always excited when languages are incorporated in, whether they be fantastical or from actual cultures. I am completely unfamiliar with Korean, so I have been checking the glossary in the back. Yes, there's a glossary. If you get overwhelmed by languages, just a heads up, it does just incorporate it right in, so you do need to check the glossary in the back if you would like to know. Otherwise, you can just kind of get what's going on by context, and I actually, I love that. Like, I'm hoping that at some point, as I go along, I'll see some of these words again, and it'll just register for me. It it's just something I really enjoy. I just, I really want to like immerse myself and if I keep doing updates, I just won't immerse. I'll realize that I'm in this world and this reality and nobody wants that. Bye for now and I'll let you know when I am done with my chapters. All right, so I just got to chapter eight of Wicked Fox. I really like it. There's definitely a lot of Korean words, uh, but like I said before, I'm enjoying it. Things pick up right away. There's a lot already happening and it was hard to put it down, but I am putting it down so that Ola can catch up if she catches up while the 24 hour readathon is going on though. Definitely picking this one back up. 
I am waiting for Jess of Tundra Tomes to finish up their current read, which I believe is Ninth House. Then they are going to start buddy reading Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Nyang with me. And I just feel like reading Girls of Storm and Shadow is going to be an experience. So I'm going to bug Jess and get uh, them going so that we can start reading it together. So Merciful Crow and then Girls of Storm and Shadow. We've run into an issue. I started reading Merciful Crow and it is so different from The Wicked Fox that I'm just like not in the mood to read it. So I'm going to actually work on uploading my video. Yes, I have videos. You may have noticed I sometimes rarely upload on YouTube. I need to get videos out. I need to get back on track and I just wasn't feeling the Merciful Crow. So I'm actually just gonna pause on reading, get this video ready to be uploaded for tomorrow and then maybe edit a little bit more until Jess is ready. <laughs> cup one. It's about 11.30 p.m. The next Instagram live is at 12.30, so I have an hour before we do a check-in. I'd like to be awake for that. I'm going to have some coffee, continue reading. Jess is still not done, so I'm going to pick up the Merciful Crow again. I'm gonna try again. I, I need to just keep pushing through. There's nothing wrong with Merciful Crow. It's just so different from Wicked Fox. My, my brain wasn't jiving with the uh, atmosphere change. We're gonna try that again. Hi and good morning. It's about uh four 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 th 4.30? I think it's 4.30. Rachel had put together a scavenger hunt uh, for the people that were participating. I'm not about to win the prize as I am a co-host, but I still wanted to do it and it looked like a lot of fun and then I can post it on Instagram and hopefully go to bed. That'd be cool. Um. So yeah, I'll uh, post a picture of the scavenger hunt up here. It's kind of like a bingo board scavenger hunt. And uh, yeah, it looks really fun. I don't know when Rachel finds the time to put these together. Uh, she said she was going to sleep for a little bit and then came back and woke up and was like, hi, I have a scavenger hunt. <laughs> so highly impressed, love her dearly gonna do the scavenger hunt and then I'm going to actually go to bed. I will not be waking up with any brilliant creative ideas. I'll just be looking for coffee and uh yeah. Gosh, I, I'm tired. Okay, let's do this. Sorry also that I have like pearly white brightness in my face. Um I had to turn the uh the the light. <laughs> I had to turn the light on um because it was too dark in here without it. So all right, let's do this. Uh, you are also supposed to find these books within a minute. I'm gonna get as close as I can get. Even if I go over a minute, I'll let you guys know. Uh, but yeah, I, it's mostly just for fun to see if I can do it. So we'll see how far I get. <laughs> So, uh, the readathon is over. I was able to get a little bit of sleep before waking up doing the closing live show with Rachel, which was absolutely amazing, and then getting a little bit more reading done. I think in the end, I in total only read 200, 215 pages. I found that when you are really involved in a readathon, whether it be 24 hour, week, or month, you do tend to read less because you're doing a little bit more of the admin work there. So, that's okay. I got plenty done. I had a lot of fun and most of all I was distracted. I am going to be closing out this reading vlog and it has been a lot of fun. I really enjoyed these past few weeks and Soleil definitely made it all the better. Rachel did an amazing job at lifting my spirits and I am just so grateful for the friends and people I've made in this community. You all are absolutely fantastic and you all know who you are whether it's leaving me a comment, sending me a nice message. My quality of life has definitely improved since joining booktube so I thank you guys again. 
I am getting ready to go on a very quick impromptu trip. I'll have more on that later, but I'd love to know where you guys think I'm going to go. So feel more than welcome to leave your guesses down below. I'll leave you with a couple hints since the entire world is out there. I have vlogged in this location before. One of my favorite humans in the entire world live there. And thirdly, they have ravenous, terrifying, gigantic ravens. Take your time in guessing where the heck I'm going and I'll be back before you know it. I will have a little bit of footage in my next vlog. So until then, I hope you're enjoying the sun or more stars wherever you are. And until next time, bye.